welcome to career 360 and the question for discussion is a sample of 0.1 gram of water at 100 degrees celsius and normal pressure requires 54 calories of heat energy to convert to steam at 100 degrees celsius if the volume of the steam produced is 167.1 cc the change in internal energy of the sample is see first of all let me tell you that according to first law of thermodynamics First law of thermodynamics. Okay, so we know that du is equal to dq minus dw. Okay. So this is the expression we get from first law of thermodynamics. Now we are given with certain things. See, pressure P, it is equal to 1.01 .01 into 10 raised to power 5 Newton per meter square. Am I clear? Fine. Now, the heat required, it is equal to heat required is equal to 54 calories. Fine. Now, if we want to convert this 54 calories into joule, what we will do, we will multiply this particular term with 4.2 because 1 calorie is equal to 4.2 joule. So, 54 into 4.2, it becomes equal to 226.8 joule. So, it is the heat required. Okay. Now, coming back and uh, let's solve for the work done by the system. Okay. So, work done. Work done is equal to P delta V. Okay. Now, what is the pressure given to you? It is equal to 1.01 into 10 raised to power 5 newton per meter square okay and what is the volume given to you okay volume that means delta v which is given to you it is equal to 167.1 cc okay now i want to tell you one thing and remember this thing that One joule is equal to one newton meter. Do remember this particular thing. Over here, we have to just convert the units and we will get our answer in joule. Okay. Now, see what I told you that one joule is equal to one newton meter. Okay. And one cc, one centimeter cube is equal to 10 raised to power minus 6 meter cube. Okay. So, this particular expression becomes 1.01 .01 into 10 raised to power 5 Newton upon meter square into 167.1 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter cube. Okay. Now, meter square cancels out with the meter square leaving behind only meter so if we multiply these all uh, units we will get 169.2 into 10 raised to power minus 1 newton meter and as i told you that 1 newton meter is equals to 1 joule so it becomes equal to 169.2 joule Okay, now see we have got our work done that means we have got dw, okay. We are having dq, change in heat energy and dw, change in work. So, if we want to find out the change in internal energy of the sample, I can say that du which is change in internal energy 
it is equal to dq minus dw. What is the value of dq? It is 226.8 joule minus what is the value of dw? That means work done. It is 169.2 joules. Okay. So, the answer comes out to be 209.8 joule. And this is the answer. So, the most appropriate option, it is option number 2 for this particular question. So, this is the particular answer for this question and thank you very much.